Hello! In this video I will be comparing three guitar capos. A cheap capo, which is pretty rubbish, an industry standard capo that I've used for many years, and my latest expensive capo. Hopefully this information will help you in your capo purchasing research, so let me know in the comments if you have a favourite capo that you own, as I love to try new products. I'm not a fan of the great big clunky closed pegs for the Incredible Hulk style capos, of which there are so many, so the three capos in this video are the smaller, less intrusive designs. For many years I did not own a capo. I would always find a way to try and play pieces that require a capo without actually using one. This would sometimes result in ridiculous hand contortions. I then realised that this was a stupid approach, and that a capo was indeed a valuable tool and not a device just to make things easier to play, and basically cheat. This capo has been in my school teaching bag for many years. It's cheap, attaches the guitar very easily, but it doesn't really work very well. It doesn't do a bad job on some guitars, although depending on the neck radius, it doesn't hold all the strings down fully. If I use this capo with my strap, for example, some strings will buzz and it just sounds horrible. I would definitely not recommend cheap capos such as this one, as they will cause much frustration, make your playing sound bad, and probably make you think that capos are a bad tool in general. This is an industry standard quality capo, and it works extremely well. I've used this capo on many acoustic guitar gigs, and it does a great job. The mechanism allows the capo to be attached relatively easy and quickly, and it sounds great as all the strings are all held down firmly. The screw at the back provides an easy way to adjust the capo so it can fit a range of neck sizes. Electric guitar and steel string acoustic guitars have curved fingerboards, and this capo is curved to fit. So if you are a classical guitarist, you will need a capo for flat fingerboards as a capo designed for radius fingerboards will not work. I recently spent some time researching capos to see if there have been any major advancements in capo technology and I kept seeing this G7th Performance 3 guitar capo. The cost of this capo is much higher than my Shub capo, but I was intrigued to see if it was any better. I've been using the capo more and more, so I decided to purchase this G7th capo and hopefully have an upgrade to my guitar toolkit. After using this capo on quite a few gigs, I can confidently say that this capo is awesome. It's engineered extremely well and it certainly does live up to the hype. The clever engineering allows the capo to adjust to different fingerboard radius measurements, so strings are always held down equally. This capo even works on a classical guitar with a flat fingerboard, so this is a big bonus. The G7 capo can be attached to my guitar with one hand very easily, and I can be ready to play sooner than when using my shove capo. You simply squeeze together to grip the fretboard, and then press the black button to release at the back. You can even quickly attach it to your guitar headstock so it's easily reachable. I mainly use a capo when playing acoustic guitar, although I recently needed to use a capo on a gig with my electric guitar. It's actually easier to bend strings with this G7 capo compared to the shove capo, so it felt more natural when I played bluesy type licks on the song that required the capo. So which capo is the best purchase? You can't go wrong with the shove capo, as it works extremely well and it should last for years. Is the G7 Performance 3 capo worth the extra expense? After using this capo many times, I would say yes, it's definitely worth the money and it is a quality product. Either the Shub Capo or the G7th Capo will serve you well, so it all depends on how much you're willing to spend. If I lost my capos and needed to buy another, I would definitely buy the G7th Capo. So I hope this video has given you helpful information on capos. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and please let me know of any other capos that you like to use. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Bye for now.